What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that you anticipate at the end of every single month and that is the monthly Blu-ray haul. In this video, I'm going to show you every single title of physical media that I picked up in the month of June. Now, I am not including the anonymous donor, like contributions, if you will, the anonymous donor box, because I just don't want to seem too repetitive. I just put up that video a few days ago. So if you do want to check that out, it's just a few clicks down below. And make sure that you stay tuned until the very end of this video, because per usual, I will be giving away my digital codes at the very end because I do not use them. It's my personal thank you from me to you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So I'm excited to show you what I picked up. I kind of had some self-control because as I've mentioned, self-control, I still have a good amount of titles, but I wasn't ordering all the time off of Amazon and off of Blu-ray.com because I do have to start sticking to a budget. Now, no worries. Your girl is still buying stuff, but I'm just not going crazy every single month. I'm buying the titles that I really, really want. And if I am ordering off of Blu-ray.com, I am searching for those sales. Let me tell you, I really want to stick to the sale prices. So let's get into Steelbooks and 4Ks, and then I will cut to Blu-rays and Blu-rays with slipcovers, and then digital codes at the very end. So let's start off with Steelbooks. True romance, true romance steelbook. I have never seen this movie, but everyone says it's good. So I'm excited. I love the color palette, pink, purple, orange, Patricia Arquette on the front, Christian Slater on the back. I'm excited to watch this one. Ah, I can't wait. And yes, I did double dip on that item. I do have the 4K box set coming, I believe, next week. And that will be a part of the July Blu-ray haul video. I couldn't help it. I had buyer's regret. I had to get a box set of some kind. It hit $29.99. That was good enough for me. So I decided to pick it up. Don't judge. Okay. <laughs> next up is Raiders. These steel books are looking fantastic. As you guys know, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I bought the white janky box set that everyone hates on, including myself. And then they decide to put out these awesome looking standalone steel books. They look like the posters. They're incredible looking. I'm going to double dip, but I am not going to double dip on Crystal Skull because we watched it last night and it was so awful one copy is all I need. I do not care about the artwork on that steelbook. I refuse. I will not support that movie and pick it up. I just will not. I will not double dip on that item. I just cannot do it. Morbius. Speaking of great movies, we have <laughs> Morbius. Sorry, I made myself laugh. We have Morbius. Okay. Morbius steelbook. Not such a great movie as we know, but a fantastic looking steelbook. Love the colors. Marvel fan here. Anything Marvel? I get in steelbook format. Just in case you guys are new here at the channel and you're like, Susan, why'd you get it if you didn't like the movie? It's Marvel. It's my own little excuse. Universal Soldier Steelbook sent me from Lionsgate, another killer looking 4K steelbook. Really quickly, just to show you. Just to let you guys know, pretty much every single steelbook that I pick up, I do an unboxing on my Instagram page. So make sure you're following me over there on Instagram at Movies and Sue. So that way, whatever I buy, you can see what the inside looks like. If you are considering picking up a steel book, but you're unsure because you're, you don't know what the inside looks like. There you go. I said what I need to say. Follow me at Movies and Sue. Okay. <laughs> Self plug. Grease 2 steel book. It wasn't at Target. It wasn't at Target the week of release. Ordered it online. And of course, the very next Tuesday, there's about 15 copies. But Susan can't wait because the sickness is real. It's so real. And finally, the unbearable weight of massive talent. My man, Nick Cage. Of course, I had to get the steel book. Look at all the Nicolas Cage faces. How can you not love that? Love that. Absolutely love it. Okay, so now we're going into 4Ks and 4Ks with slipcovers. So I only have one 4K with no slip, and that is The Shallows. I do have this on Blu-ray, but I 
wanted to upgrade to the 4K. It's Shark Month next month here on my channel, and it's a decent shark movie. So there aren't a lot of them around. So because it's a decent shark movie, I figure I will do the upgrade. It's a shame there's no slipcover, but that's okay. I believe I paid $15, around the $15 mark for this on Blu-ray.com. So not bad. I've seen this once, and I'm looking forward to watching it again. Because I remember I did enjoy that one. Life Force picked this up this past Tuesday because there really wasn't anything else. So I picked up Life Force. I was waiting on this one. It came out about, what, a month ago. And I was like, you know what? No, no. And then nothing this past week. There was one copy. Can you say fate? Destiny, if you will. I guess. Or just no one else wanted it. I don't know. <laughs> I say it's fate. In my mind, it's fate ambulance with the very nice slip cover a lot of you are like that movie sucks or it's a great movie there's like no in between with ambulance so i'm really looking forward to seeing what my opinion is going to be of that movie the northman i still haven't watched this one so i need to get on that picked up jungle cruise on a very lackluster week mainly for my mom because she's obsessed with the rock and we enjoyed it when we watched it on disney plus I did pick up Braveheart on 4K because very nice slipcover. Whenever I could find an older title that still has a slipcover on it, I'm going to get it. Because as we know, slipcovers are very, they're precious. They're very hard to find these days. Unless they're a brand new release, you're probably not going to find them out there. And always ordering online is such a gamble of whether you're going to get the slipcover or not. This is why I prefer to shop in stores. But obviously... We're getting out of that. I'm going on a tangent. So Braveheart, there we go. Slipcover was the main decision, the main factor of why I picked this up. And it was also only $16.99. That was the other factor. It was a decent price. It's not the best price, but it was decent. And then finally, in the heat of the night on 4K with the very nice slipcover, not only is there one movie on here, there are three. And I only paid $19.99. So that is an amazing deal for three films on 4K for only, let's just say, 20 bucks. I'm budgeting. I told you, I am budgeting. So those are all my Steelbooks and 4Ks. And now let's get into the Blu-rays. Next up are my Blu-rays with and without slipcovers. Really quickly, side note, I apologize about what my face looks like. I don't want to have the air conditioning going because it's just so noisy in the video. I pretty much only use it when it's like 90 degrees and it's super hot. I had it going earlier and it's kind of fading off now. So my face is kind of flaring up just a little bit, but you're not here to look at my face. You're here to look at the physical media. So let's move on to the Blu-rays. Yes, I triple dipped on Nicolas Cage. You knew it was going to happen with the unbearable weight of massive talent, but I consider it a bargain because I didn't pick up anything else that week. Just this movie. Granted, it was three times, but it was just the one movie. That's how I rationalize it in my head, if you will. I know it doesn't make sense. It probably doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to myself. Sing Do with a very nice slipcover, $13.99 at Target. A little bit of a sale going on. There really wasn't too much for me to pick up. I figured, you know what? That's on sale. Let me grab it because Destiny sent me the first movie and I have a completionist mindset, so I have to get the second movie you know, the franchise, what have you. So I figure I would get it while it was on sale. Picked up On the Rocks on Blu-ray.com. I believe it was around $7.50. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the kind of deals that I'm getting. Okay. Shark movies. You know it. Shark movies. You watch me pick these up at Walmart. What's the first one? Blood in the Water. Saw meets Jaws. So excited to watch this one. And then Alien Shark. I already know this one is like super bad. Like really, really horrible. I know this one's bad too. Any Walmart shark movie is going to be horrible. But they're only like, what, $9.99? Whatever. <laughs> I need material for my, for my theme month. What can I say? Let's move on to Blu-rays without slipcovers. She's having a baby. It's been a really long time since I've seen this one. And that is John Hughes. Yes, this is John Hughes. And I love John Hughes. Nostalgia, the heavenly kid. Who remembers this movie besides me? Let me know down below in the comments. Picked up the Final Destination 5 movie collection. A lot of you were so proud of me that I picked this one up. It was about $18 on Blu-ray.com. So I figured that's a great price. I will 
I will pick that up. The USS Indianapolis with Nicolas Cage. Got some more different Nick Cage. Top Secret with Val Kilmer. It's got my name in it. Desperately Seeking Susan. I have to pick this up. It has my name in it. And it has Madonna. And it's supposedly one of her best roles. So why not? Falling Down with Michael Douglas. 11 something. Blu-ray.com. Grabbing those sales. I am. It's been so long since I've seen that one. Really looking forward to watching that one again. Legends of the Fall. Because I figure, why not get more Brad Pitt in my collection? Finally, another Nick Cage, The Weatherman. Do I have enough Nicolas Cage? I don't know. So that is everything that I picked up for physical media. I know, shocking. That's it. But wait, we have the digital codes. Now the time has come for the portion of the video where we're talking about digital codes. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, Susan, how do I get my own digital code? Very easy. Step number one, make sure you're following me over on Twitter at Movies and Sue. I will have it right here for you, just so that way you know. Private message me over there and let me know what code you're the most interested in. Give me a couple of options because these tend to go fairly quickly. So that way, if your first choice is gone, I can automatically send you your second choice. Now, these are first come, first serve, only one per person, and I cannot guarantee that these are going to work. However, they all should because they're all brand new release movies in this round, so we shouldn't have any, any kind of problem or issue. Now, I will say the unbearable weight of massive talent that I'm going to share with you, I only have one. Even though I have three in my pile, I only opened my Steelbook. I did not open the other two Blu-rays because why bother? I don't need to do that <laughs> because I opened my steel book. So there's only one copy of the unbearable weight of massive talent. So that's the first one. Grease two, universal soldier, brave heart, ambulance, top secret, USS Indianapolis, Raiders of the lost Ark, Morbius, the Northmen, jungle cruise, and finally, Sing 2. So those are the digital codes that are available. Head on over to Twitter and message me and let me know which one you want and you might be able to win a digital code for yourself. So that is my June 2022 Blu-ray haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.